My name is Matt Cunningham. I am the uh, faculty advisor for WCRX, the student-run Columbia College radio station. Uh, I um, have had 20 years of experience producing radio news for both commercial and uh, public radio. And I created, <clears throat> excuse me, created a radio podcasting class uh, and teach that now. Who are my students? They're from all uh, departments uh, across campus, from journalism, radio, uh, community, or comedy studies, musical theater, creative writing, cinematic arts. Uh, most have an interest in the medium, some because they passionately listen to podcasts and others because they've heard the word over and over. Um, when I started, I learned at Columbia College how to splice reel-to-reel -reel tape with a razor. Can you imagine students today using a razor blade or walking around? Now they use digital files. I love the Control-Z option, but the problem with that is that now the listener wants more. They want more uh, sound involved. Um, broadcast versus podcast. Broadcasts are uh, to a large group of people who may randomly get it on the radio. Podcast, you have to go and select, whether that's from a friend telling you or from whatever, they, uh, it's more intimate because you're choosing to be there. There's different types of podcasts. There's re uh, broadcasts of shows that go out in the ether. When I was first starting up, that was it. It would be said and gone, and now you have a, a venue for that. Um, uh, and then there are also uh, public interest podcasts. So. Um, one of them, Install the Heap. It's a gaming podcast by our very own Brendan Riley here. Um, we have Man Meat Barbecue, just this dude that loves barbecuing with his green egg, and he barbecues year-round and records it. And then Lore, this somewhat successful uh, art, or, uh, lecturer who, or writer who uh, has written, uh, and now his stuff's going to be on Amazon Prime. Uh, Dewey Decibel, American Library Association Gravy, the Southern Foodways Alliance, and then DTR, Define the Relationship, the uh, dating app Tinder. Uh, they did a 10-part series uh, exploring uh, dating in the new millennium. Are you guys bored yet? Because this is usually what happens when I lecture my students and explain the different types of, of podcasts and how they're utilized, and they get really bored. But it's important to share this. But I um, have some advice for my students. Don't make a podcast. If all you're doing, because you have inexpensive microphone and a computer with free editing system, you shouldn't do it just because you can. You have to have a reason for it. You have to have something that you want to share with an audience, whether it's a small audience or a larger audience. Content is king. Uh, developing your ideas is important, but it's less imp uh, it is less important for the students to know everything, but the listener is exploring with you, and you're finding the appropriate people to go and find that topic and suss it out. You also engage the ear. I talk with my students about um, being intimate, and you know everyone is distracted by conversations, text messages, you're driving with traffic life in general, how are you going to get their attention? How are you going to bring sound in to uh, the podcast to really keep their attention? And then the biggest thing is personality. You need to have a personality. Really hone in on what's important to you and delve into that. Because most of the time, you're not going to make a lot of money. It's about this intimate con connection with people who are also interested in the topic you're interested in. So I had a student who came to me last year, fall 2016, and he said, I'm going to do one on the presidential election. And just talking with him for a few moments, I realized he doesn't really know much about it or have that passion. <laughs> but he awkwardly showed me this image, uh, a Snapchat he does every morning about from his bed. Very uncomfortable, but he handed or he showed this video to me. Um, I said, you have to do that. Positive motivation. That's what he did every morning with that. So what's the name? Everything. Everything in the podcast. Focusing. We had some stu a student that couldn't figure out what to do. He's funny and he's uh, interested in sports. He decided on a podcast with everyone else, jockeying off. Um, so what are they talk the students talking about? Uh, students from throughout the college have a variety of interests, sports, uh, theater, conspiracy theories, and ghosts. 
And they, they're owning their is, interest and personality and realizing that they have something they want to say. They're talking about dating. I have a student that was inspired by the uh, DTR podcast and uh, explores dating through how to strike up a conversation online, best places to meet, who pays, deal breakers. But through this, these conversations, she figured out more about herself and what her interests were in dating. Stomping grounds, a student was working in a, a coffee shop in Edgewater neighborhood and decided to follow uh, the, the coffee shop as they were closing because the building was being turned into condos. So he spent his time interviewing people in the neighborhood and how this coffee shop, how important it was to them. We have a student who is here, an international student, that decided to do something on DACA and really express the empathy that we should have towards immigrants here uh, through interviews and personal stories of people who are caught up in the red tape of, of DACA right now. And I've totally lost my pages here. And then Powerbomb. I have a student who, she and her father loved watching pro wrestling. So she actually is doing this podcast. And she feels like because she's a woman doing it without saying that, she's going to bring a different and often overlooked um, voice to this conversation. So what have we learned? What have the students learned? We learned that um, 